A very warm welcome back to my channel. I am the Black Belt Barrister helping you to understand law. So I've come across this photograph on Twitter and Instagram and various places and it pictures at least on the face of it, Dr. Curry on the left, who was the expert instructed by Johnny Depp's lawyers, and of course, Camille Vasquez uh, in the middle of this photograph. Now, on the face of it, some of the comments associated with this photograph suggest that Dr. Curry is not allowed to be friends or pictured with or going out with Camille Vasquez or anyone else on Johnny Depp's team, and therefore some kind of impropriety or wrongdoing. However, I'm going to make a few comments about this and I'm going to call for your help. So please do stick around till the end because I'm going to ask for your help on something. Now, first of all, dealing with the issue as to whether or not it is permissible or frowned upon or whatever for an expert to be friends with, associated with or going out for a meal or a drink with anyone else on the team. There's a number of questions to raise here. First of all, when was this photograph taken? Because if this photograph was taken well after the trial, after the event, and they got to know each other because of the trial, and then they were invited out together, and Dr. Curry went out together, then that's absolutely none of anyone else's business whatsoever. However, let's go even deeper than that and say that this photograph was taken beforehand. Now, just because they are photographed at the same place at the same time, ostensibly going out somewhere for maybe a night on the town or a meal or what have you, then on the face of it, this photograph shows nothing else other than they were at the same place at the same time. There is no evidence in this photograph other than that, that they were, as I say, on the face of it at the same place at the same time. And even if they are friends, that doesn't make any difference either. And I'll tell you why. If I use the Bar of England and Wales as an example, there are only around 17,000 barristers that are registered to practice in England and Wales. That is a very small population of legal professionals at the bar that are frequenting courts around the country. And it would be impossible not to come across a great number of those barristers and indeed form some kind of friendship with them. In fact, it is encouraged through dining events, training events, continual professional development and so on. Throughout all of these events, right from our initial training, we go to dining events, we meet other barristers, we even meet judges and we meet lots of other experts throughout our training that might appear in various cases. For example, I got to know very well some accountancy experts who are called upon frequently to give evidence in accounting and fraud cases. I've come across other medical and educational experts with whom we frequently form friendships. But regardless of those friendships and those associations, neither the barrister nor the expert would ever even think of it being possible to skew their evidence based on that friendship. If we go to court, whether you're up against a barrister that you know, or even a barrister from Chambers, or a barrister who you might have a great friendship with, you would probably draw the line if it was a spousal relation or a family relation on the other side. But even then, avoiding those instructions would simply be to avoid the public inference that there is some kind of impropriety between the lawyers involved. Just because lawyers are friends with each other and perhaps even go to dinner with each other, that is not by itself a reason to call into question the integrity of the lawyer, or in the case of Dr. Curry here as well, call into question the integrity of an expert when they've been given evidence in a trial. If there's any suggestion of impropriety based on this photograph alone, then I find that frankly quite defamatory. Because if anyone were to make such a statement that the evidence has been skewed simply because of a friendship, if there is a friendship there, or simply by going out to an event with somebody who is or was involved in a trial, then quite frankly, that might give rise to a claim in defamation if they could prove serious harm or harm with actual malice, depending on the jurisdiction that you are in. Because as I've said in many a video before now, including my live streams, whether it's a judge, whether it's a barrister, whether it's an expert, whether it's a doctor, anybody who is giving evidence, they have a duty to the court. And in the case of experts, they swear an oath that the evidence that they are providing is of expert quality and that their first duty is to the court, not even to the client that is instructing them, and certainly not 
skewed whether they have a friendship or any other kind of connection with that party. If there's a financial relationship, then of course they must declare that, just as we would as a barrister. If I'm instructed by a client to sue a certain company and I have, let's say, an investment with that company and I have a financial relationship, therefore with that company, maybe I'm paid dividends from the share ownership with that company, I would need to declare that to the client that I have a financial interest in the company. If it's simply a case where I own a few shares in a large national company and I tell the client this and I say I have to declare that I have this financial interest in this company, it's a few shares, I get a few hundred pounds a year or whatever it might be, the client in almost every situation is going to say who cares? That's not going to make any difference to the advice that you're going to give me. On the other hand, if I own half the shares in a company, then I'm not going to be able to provide impartial advice to the client when trying to sue the company. You can see the big difference between the two. But simply by having a friendship with someone on the other side or knowing someone on the other side, or in the case of experts and lawyer, just because you have a friendship or a working relationship with that person, it does not automatically mean that anything that that expert says is tainted by that connection. I hope I've made that point abundantly clear. Now, of course, if there were something to transpire to provide evidence that this evidence was skewed and given in breach of their duty to the court, then that's entirely a different matter. But there's no suggestion of that at the moment and certainly no evidence or suggestion of it from this photograph. Now, I did say that I would ask for your assistance in this video. Now, I'm neither a photographer nor an expert in forensic photography by any stretch, but some people have commented that this photograph looks, at least in some part, that it might be photoshopped. Now, there are some irregularities that I see with the photograph, but I'm not going to comment on those. I'm going to leave that to, I know we have some fantastic expert photographers watching this channel, many of whom have sent me messages before now, and I'm very grateful for those. And I'm happy to shout you out in the next video if you come back with any comments and discussions as to whether or not this photograph might be in any way photoshopped, faked, skewed, or all the rest of it. So please do get in touch. Please leave me your comments in the box below. My email addresses are always in the description. Leave me your thoughts on this video. Do you think this has been photoshopped in any way? Is this a real photograph? Is there anything that stands out to you that makes this photograph look like it might not be real? But aside from any of that, I hope that my message is clear that being photographed in a group of ladies that includes the lawyer simply by itself does not prove any wrongdoing or improprieties. So if you read those kind of comments, jumping on this, if it becomes a bandwagon, take it with a pinch of salt and remember what I've said in this video. So in the meantime, I'd be really grateful if you hit that like button and share this with someone that you think might be swayed by this photograph. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and as always, thank you very much for watching.